What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today we have a singles narrated Wi-Fi battle against Better Ed than Smeg. You can tell from the team there um, that I have a Mega Aerodactyl and he probably has a Mega Gallade. But what you can't tell is how awesome this match is. So please go sub him if you are not already subbed to him. He produces some great content and he's fun to battle against. Uh, right in the beginning of the match, I just wanted to set up my stealth rocks. I thought he was going to do the same, the complimentary exchange of rocks. But he's actually banded. So I just lose my Excadrill immediately. And because he has a probable defogger in the form of Empoleon, I, I just wasted my Excadrill completely because I was not expecting that. I thought about Iron Heading, but um, yeah, especially because I have a little bit of bulk on that Excadrill, he had to be banded to take out my Excadrill. So knowing that he was banded, I went out to Drapion here knowing I could take a minus one superpower easily and set up. And so I go for Swords Dance expecting Empoleon to switch in. And it does come in, but I can't KO it with a single knockoff. Uh, Empoleon is just too bulky, apparently. So I really would have liked to stop my rocks from getting defogged away, because that would have been great to have them up for the battle. But eh, it's just not not making the, the best play there at the beginning of the match. Now here I expected Victini to go for V-Create, which I knew Drapion could live thanks to its natural great base defense. But he actually has Blue Flare. That's one of those uh, special Japanese Victinis. And I cannot live the blue flare and don't have as great special attack. It is good to see life orb though, that means I can go on into Aerodactyl here. I know I outspeed it because it's not scarfed and I can mega evolve and hopefully hit him with the stone edge but he actually switches out into a defensive Gorgeist, uh, which does not mind the stone edge at all. I, I was hoping stone edge will put him in a range where I could hit him with a, an aerial ace and finish him off but I will not be able to KO him from there with an aerial ace. I just kind of know that based on Aerodactyl's offensive output. Uh, I figured he'd go for Will-O-Wisp or Leech Seed, neither of which Entei really minds. Uh, he does go for Will-O-Wisp, and this is my Bandit Entei, so uh, I figured he'd switch out into Victini expecting the Sacred Fire, but he just stays in and does not, he does not afraid of anything, apparently, as he goes for Leech Seed. I could have Sacred Fired there and just easily KO'd him, but he just stayed in knowing that I wouldn't do it. So uh, Sacred Fire actually was probably the better move there. McTeeny coming in probably would have taken at least 30%, maybe 40 from Abandoned Sacred Fire. Uh, and then I could have switched out to Chestnut here to at least uh, sacrifice it and then switch back into something else. But here predicting him to just go for Elite Seed again, I'm going to go on in a Chestnut because the switch was pretty obvious. Uh, but that actually ends up working out because he goes for Phantom Force. Chestnut unfortunately will not be very useful in this battle because my only offensive option is uh, Hammer Arm on it. I have Hammer Arm, Spiky Shield, Spikes, and Leech Seed. And that's just not good coverage for what my opponent has in this battle. So since that's the case and I lost my Stealth Rocks earlier, we're gonna try to get up as many layers of uh, Spikes as we can. Um, unfortunately, without Assault Vest, I'm not going to be able to take a Life Orb Stab, super effective Psychic, ouch. That immediate, I don't think I've seen Spikerton die in a single hit before. But that right there is enough power to do it. Now right here, once again, Ed predicts what I'm going to do. I went for Aerial Ace, expecting him to go ahead and switch in uh, Gorgeist, knowing that I could 2 hit KO the Gorgeist, and I figured that I could actually KO the Victini from there. But Victini takes the hit. Fortunately for me, he misses the Thunder. Um, it doesn't end up mattering too much in the long run, uh, just because he is able to very easily take my... Um, uh, Aqua Tail there with the Gigalith and finished me off with a banded Stone Edge. Definitely didn't have any chance of living that. Now since he did lock himself in the Stone Edge and it is banded, I don't want to take the chance that Feraligator uh, doesn't live the hit. And so I just decided to go for Crunch. That way if he switched into Victini or Gallade, uh, then I could hit them both neutrally as well. And I actually don't have Waterfall on this particular Feraligator. I have one that's Dragon Dance with Waterfall. This is my Swords Dance set that's adamant with Aqua Jet, because after a Swords Dance, as long as you're running adamant nature, you're able to pick up a lot of KOs. Um, now, I am surprised here. I managed to live the second Drain Punch after he Mega Evolves. I guess he got a maximum damage roll on that first one, because that first one put me at 50% HP. Uh, just, I was very surprised there. It actually turns out he's running a very bulky Gallade. Uh, so I'm able going I'm going to be able to outspeed him with Entei, which definitely did not expect. I expected to just eat a drain punch right here. 
but Entei is going to be able to outspeed uh, his Gallade, and that's going to be an easy KO. And unfortunately, his Heliolus is Specs. If his Heliolus were uh, Life Orb or Expert Belt, I may have had a chance to live that Surf just because I have a slightly bulkier Entei because I don't have a max speed IV on it. Um, but yeah, that that definitely came down to the wire there despite my bad plays in the beginning. But I enjoyed the battle. So guys, make sure you go ahead and go sub to Better Ed Than Smeg. I'll leave a link to his description in the description. A link to his channel in the description, rather. And I hope you all have a great day. Look forward to uh, my next couple of week matches from the ICL coming up here soon. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.